Hi, I'm Matt with BedRemotes.com and Bradley's Furniture. Today we're going to show you how to use one of our universal conversion kits with an older generation adjustable bed base. The one that we're working on today is the Leggett and Platt Prodigy first generation. These remotes were discontinued a few years ago, so there's no way to purchase an original one anymore. And the only option that the manufacturer's given us to get a bed working again if a remote is lost or broken is to replace all of the electronics, the motors underneath. It's expensive and it's quite difficult to do. So these universal bed kits are great because it gives you the option to extend your life of the bed. Um, usually you get as much functionality, sometimes you get a little bit more functionality. On the really advanced units like this Prodigy model, um, it's not quite exactly the same as the older molds, but they're, they're really good and it's sufficient for the most case. Uh, there's two different models of these bed kits that we sell. One of them is a black version, and there's certain beds that will send the black version out because of the ports and how it works a little bit better. Um, this Prodigy will always want to do this white remote as the black remote doesn't have the limits on the top and the bottom as you're moving it up and down as well, so it can break the motors a little bit. So these are a great replacement for it. Um, the first thing you want to do if you're Using a Prodigy, they'll have these exact same motors. You'll see it says 24 volt DC current right there. On some older adjustable bed bases, you'll have a 110 AC current and these conversion kits won't work. Um, the manufacturers don't recommend cutting any wires on those because they're all high voltage rather than low voltage. And over time, um, the regulations from the government have basically said we don't want to use these beds anymore because if a wire were to get cut or frayed underneath and a child or a pet would go underneath and touch it, they could get electrocuted. So if you've got the older 110 current, we would recommend probably just getting a new bed base. But almost every bed since 2000 is going to be on these 24 volt currents, so these kits will work with it. The only other thing you want to make sure is sometimes the motors are integrated into the control box and we're not going to be able to cut or adapt the wires. In that case, the universal kits won't work either. So first step on these, just to make sure there's no sparking, we want to unplug the main power supply from the adjustable bed base. I've already done that. And then plug in our universal kit and the power supply that we include. On these power supply units, when they're receiving power, they'll get that green light on there. And then you'll hear the box on this one. It clicks a little bit when it's plugged in. Also a good note, we want to make sure to use a surge protector on any large electronic like an adjustable bed base to prevent electrical outlets from doing damage to the box. Once we've got that, we'll grab our pair of wire clippers. These were just $5 that I got on Amazon, wire clipper, uh, wire clipper and uh, wire cutters. And then under the bed, this is gonna be our foot motor. You can see the, the piston extends to the foot and the head motor's up here. So if you follow that down, we'll go ahead and start with our head motor. That wire wraps around and plugs right into the main control unit here. I like to leave a couple of inches just on the bottom and cut that off. And then you can pull the cord through. And inside you're going to have four, five, sometimes six on the advanced models uh, wires. I like to just perforate about an inch or so down on the unit. I've done these bed bases before, so I know that... The two wires we're going to be working with are the blue and the white. Ultimately, if it's not one of the bed bases that we've done, it could be any combination of the four or five or six wires inside, but only one of them will operate the motor up and the other one will operate the motor down. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the excess of the other four, knowing that I don't need those. And then we want to just strip about a quarter of an inch back on each of the wires to expose just a little bit of the, the metal wiring underneath. Now on our universal wiring kit, the orange and yellow will be the head, the blue and the brown are the foot. So knowing that we've got the blue is the head up, in this case, because I've done those before, and the white is the head down, you slide those in just until they don't go in any further without cramming it too far. And when you clip that down, you can feel that it's secure and won't pull out. And then I like to just hold the bed base and just push the head button, tap it once or twice and you'll hear the motor moves. Make sure you're holding onto it so nothing falls. We'll repeat the same steps with our foot motor. So this is the foot here. If we follow the cord, sorry, this is the foot down here. You can see that it connects and goes into here. If we follow that cord, it wraps around underneath. And 
end, we'll go ahead and do the same process. Strip that back. And then because we've already identified the up and down of the head, the foot is going to be the exact same combination. So we'll just remove the excess. Expose just enough wire, but not too much, just so it can make a good contact in there. And same thing, so blue is gonna go first, white is gonna go second. Slide those in, clip them down, and you can hear the foot should move. If for any reason we didn't get it in there enough, we test it again, there we go. And that made the connection with the foot. So we keep going on this unit since we have massage cords. We're gonna grab the foot motor down here and the head motor. You can actually follow that packet and this cord wraps down here. So again, I like to just leave an inch or so. If I ever need to splice those wires back together, I can do that. But we're just gonna expose that top inch or so. Massage cables are always easier because there's just a red and a black, and it doesn't matter which goes where because the motor will just run either forward or backward. So this one, the wires are so small, I've gotta be really careful to not, I'm gonna have to go down one more time. Let's go down a third time. Okay, that one exposed, this one, you can just bite off with your teeth to expose that little section. We'll just slide that into one of our two ports. One of these is gonna be the head, one is the foot. I don't know which is which. When we've got that plugged in, if you just push the head and foot on, you'll hear that the foot worked. If you tap the foot two more times, it'll turn on to full speed and then turn it off. So because that's the head, I'm gonna switch these to the other side just to make sure that we've got them plugged into the right unit. You can hear that turn right on. And then the same thing with the foot. Just remove that top sheathing. Okay. There's no way to get electrocuted because these aren't actually connected to anything. And because it's all low voltage, it wouldn't even hurt you because it will want to return to the, the power box before ever traveling through your body. So even if we had live wires that were touching, um, they're not gonna shock us at all unless the two wires touch, there would be a little spark, but it wouldn't even go through us, so we'd still be okay. So same thing, we're just gonna strip those two off, expose about an inch of that casing and slide it in any direction, head or foot, and test our motor. If you hit the bottom left button, it'll turn everything off. On these units, you can turn three different intensities on the head and foot, and then if you hit the mode button, it'll rotate between a pulse or a wave feature or a higher pulse and then back to your standard, and you can hit the timer off button. If you change the timer to 20 minutes or both lit for 30 minutes, then hit your head on. I think it's actually the opposite way. Nope, that's right. It'll stay on for 30 minutes and then the massage will turn off automatically. If you just turn it on normally to default at 10, then it will turn off after 10 minutes. So on this exact model, um, both up will work, both down will work. Uh, unfortunately, you're presets and your memory positions aren't going to do anything. Um, flat will work for a second and then stop. So I think that should be probably just like normal. But uh, just like that, we've converted the bed base. Uh, the last thing that I like to do just to kind of clear up and make sure that none of the wires get caught, especially if you have a vacuum or pets or anything, is I'll just take this box off and screw up the new box inside of that. Um, just clean up the cords. But it's as easy as that. Let us know if you have any questions. These are available for purchase on bedremotes.com.
And if you scroll down the first four or five different products will be either the white kit or the black kit, or um, we do also sell a basic four button kit without presets or massage if you want to save a little bit of money. Thanks and have a great day.